Uh, you know, today, you know, I was saying I was out and about and I paid a, uh, a visit um, to my local uh, tools uh, hardware store to go check out some new inventory that they say they had for me to look at. And um, I was, they have a TV in there where most of the time it was tuned in to um, Fox Leather News. And I see King Louis 45 on there live in Vegas congratulating supposedly the heroes that responded to the Las Vegas um, domestic te uh, terrorist act. We're not going to call it mass shooting. It was a terrorist act. It is what it is. You know, and I noticed that, like I said in my last video, that Trump, you know, that he doesn't give zero fucks and it continues to do so. You want to congratulate the so-called <laughs> race cowards law enforcement for doing what they did but i noticed he shook hands with only only the white ones and not even with with a couple of the brothers that was in the background as usual to my saying that they the heroes well i beg to differ um give me give a shout out to Torian rain and some of the others who said that this is one of these stories that the mainstream media is not going to talk about. This is where I come in. This is where Professor Truth comes in. Jason Black, Torian Rain, Black Reality TV, 1LVZ, Ticket TV, Blood Boxing Sports, Town Biz, Mr. Superboy 223, Phil from the Advice Show, Cynthia G. Um, we can, I can go on and on. Lisa Cabrera. I can go on and on. They don't want to talk about how there was a black man who saved others in Las Vegas massacre despite being shot. I wouldn't call it massacre, terrorist act. Let's just read right into it. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description so that way y'all can read it. But anyway, now many are hailing a copy machine repairman from Orange County, California, a hero for helping to save others while he himself received a life-threatening gunshot wound during the Las Vegas massacre. Washington Post identified him as Jonathan Smith, 30, who now has a bullet lodged in his neck from, oh, here they go again, the worst mass shooting in modern U.S. history. No, the worst mass shooting in modern U.S. history was the Tulsa race riot, okay? Rosewood, Black Wall Street, that was the worst mass shooting, damn it. Washington Post ain't no different from CNN and New York Times and Fox. And this is this the brother right here, you know. And it was a tweet from um, Jamisha Johnson said, this is Jonathan Smith. He saved 30 people last night, that night before he was shot in the neck. I hope he gets well soon. Hashtag Vegas strong. Smith had traveled to Las Vegas to celebrate his brother's 43rd, uh, 43rd birthday. Um, the two brothers and other family members sat close to the country music festival stage enjoying a Jason Aldean performance on Sunday night when gunshots rained down on the crowd. Uh, let me just interject on something like this. Probably y'all listen to this video, probably asking yourself, well, why the hell black people going to a damn country music festival? Anyway, well, I'm saying, does the name Charlie Pride comes to mind? Let me tell you something. Black people, we have always been involved in a lot of genre of music we the ones that set it all off country music don't belong to no white folks never had been shit anyway let me continue in the confusion that followed family members became separated the newspaper says smith was searching for his nieces when he observed several people crouching in the open stricken with fear he led them and, and others to a safe place while helping those a bullet struck them he said, I couldn't feel anything in my neck. There was a warm sensation in my arm. Yeah, you just been shot. Emergency room doctors struggling to save Smith's life decided that it would be better to leave the bullet in his neck. So he also suffered a fractured collarbone, cracked rib, and a bruised lung, the newspaper said. Smith's photo went viral as people applauded him for his heroics. So I don't see myself that way. I would want someone to do the same for me. Meanwhile, Tiffany Jones, who identified herself as Smith's sister-in-law, 
launched a GoFundMe campaign to help Smith cover out-of-pocket medical expenses. She said that he's a father of three children and unable to provide for them because of his injuries. Now, as of yesterday, the uh, the campaign raised over like fourteen hundred and thirty-five dollars of its seven thousand seven k goal. Wow. Now, this a hero. That's a hero. Now to the Las Las Vegas PD, the same ones who held Michael Bennett down at gunpoint, threatening to blow his fucking head off. Given you want to perpetually stereotype every black person as being a thug or being a criminal and all this stuff, but the real criminal was sitting up there on supposedly the 32nd floor of the Mandolin Bay Resort. Which was a lie, because it's a lot of uh, things that's going on there. And talking about saying that he shot himself, which he didn't. I believe somebody killed him just to cover their tracks up. Otherwise, how he got up in there? Because the same people who, who killed him were the same ones who, who made sure he got up in there. Got up in their hotel room. And it wasn't from the 32nd floor. Anyway, this brother here put his life on the line. Just to save 30 other people. Now, I don't know whether they were white or whether black, Hispanic, or anything like this. I don't care. But now he's got a bullet lodged in his neck, and that's, that's going to be permanently lodged in there. You know, I'm like, damn. You know, he's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. You know. But then here you got these 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 fucking cops, you know, they carry all this shit, like 30, 30 pounds around their waist, pepper spray, baton, handcuffs, mace, uh, excuse me, a taser, and then of course the police issue sidearm, which is a nine millimeter or forty caliber and stuff. And then on top of that, they wearing freaking Kevlar uh, vest, tactical vest, and still scary. This brother here went out there, didn't have none of that. And he threw his life on the line to save 30 some other people. And then, but he ended up getting shot. He's still alive and still breathing. But unfortunately, he got to live with the pain and the fact that he's got a bullet lodged in his damn neck from that crazy ass cracker who went on that shoot spree. But see, once again, you don't see, you definitely ain't going to see Fox talking about this. You ain't definitely going to see CNN talking about this. The New York Times, Washington Post. Oh, let me let me guess. You're not even going to find TV none, Roland Martin, them fuck ass talking about it either. But let me just know what y'all think about this in the comment section. I'm going to leave the link in the description for this. Um, y'all can just go ahead, subscribe, share. Um, make sure you click the notification bell. So when I upload new videos, you'll get them. No more talk. I'm done.